mean by p time curve why is it used the movement of the train and their energy consumption can be studied by means of speed time and speed distance curve which shows the speed at different time instants after start of run and speed at different distances from the starting point respectively of the two the speed time curve is generally used the curve drawn between speed in kw per hour along y axis and time in seconds along x axis is called speed time curve the speed time curve gives the complete information about the motion of the train this curve gives the speed at various time instants after the start of run directly slope of the curve at any point gives the speed at that instant the area under the curve gives the total distance traveled by the what do you mean by average speed in electric traction the mean of the speeds from the start to stop that is the distance between two stops divided by the actual time of run is known as average speed average speed is equal to distance between stops in kilometer per actual time of run in hours what do you mean by schedule speed in electric traction the ratio of distance covered between two stops and total time of run including time of stop is known as schedule speed schedule speed is equal to distance between stops in kilometer by actual time of run in hours plus stop time in hours the schedule speed is always smaller than the average speed the difference is large in case of urban and suburban services and is negligibly small in case of main line service what is tractive effort the effective force necessary to propel the train at the wheels of the locomotive to which the motor is geared is called the geared effort it is measured in newtons and is tangential to the driving wheels total tractive effort required to run a train on track equal to tractive effort to produce acceleration tractive effort to overcome effect of gravity plus tractive effort to overcome train resistance what are the factors affecting energy consumption the various factors affecting energy consumption are distance between the stops the greater the distance between the stops the lesser will be the specific energy consumption for suburban service it is 50 to 75 watts hour per ton kilometer and for main line service it is between 18 to 32 watt hour per 10 kilometer train resistance the train resistance depends upon the nature of track speed of the train and shape of the rolling stock particularly the front and rear portions of the train if the train resistance is greater the specific energy consumption is more acceleration and retardation if the acceleration and retardation increases the specific energy consumption is increased gradient the steep gradients will involve more energy consumption through regenerative braking is applied train equipment more efficient train equipment will reduce the specific energy consumption Please subscribe our channel for more videos and educational